you can now support this channel on Patreon. Warning, this video is from my perspective only, and as such, should not be taken too seriously. Just wanted to add in here that I love it when we get some backstory like this on world events, especially when it involves demons and humans and fairies, etc., because I'm just a fan of those kinds of things in general, which is why The Witcher 3 is one of my favorite games of all time. Adding five wins here, I think. This entire scene of getting to find out how Diane first met King and became friends, with a lovely little moment between the two of them when they started to connect, and hearing about Diane's situation and being on her own for so long really touched me. This is easily worth two wins. Once again, I'm adding another win for this brilliant episode so far. I know you guys must be like me and have seen some anime which do flashback episodes that are done just really poorly or are very boring, making you just wish you could continue the main, present storyline. However, this anime for me personally has done the flashback in such an informative, character and world building kind of way that I find myself more than happily watching the past unfold and learning more about these two. It's just such a shame that I now know I haven't got many episodes left to go. Holy balls, I was not expecting things to get this bloody dark. This massively caught me off guard and made me feel really uncomfortable inside. I have to say that due to the anime successfully making me feel something like this, I'll have to add five wins. Bravo, Seven Deadly Sins. Bravo. Absolutely mind-blowing degree of awesomeness displayed here. This is so far for me at least one of my favourite battles of the anime. Just seeing King use his full power to save the woman he loves and, in a way I'm guessing, to liberate his former best friend from his pain and evil ways is most excellent. <laughs> This is gonna be f***ing awesome! I know it's far from the world's greatest animated shot, but my god, for a scene that's on the screen for all of one second, I can greatly appreciate the effort that must have gone into painstakingly drawing every single one of the houses you see here. Well done. Take five wins for the final time for great artwork. Already the start of this battle has absolutely blown me away. Not only is the artwork incredibly consistent throughout, but it's now being backed up by an awesome soundtrack and great sound effects that help to make this battle that much more exhilarating. I'll add three wins here, I think. <laughs> What's that? Demon power? You mean he's not human? Oh my goodness me, I had no idea and definitely didn't get spoiled in my comment section about 17 times. Wow. <laughs> Alright, I'll happily admit that this moment made me laugh way too hard. I guess it was a mixture of his voice, but also the art style change. <laughs> Jesus, this battle is so f***ing exhilarating, it's insane! I just literally don't know what's going to come next, and I'm consistently pleased by how excellent the artwork is during this battle. Wow, he's really awesome. I'm so glad that finally I get to see him fight all out for his life. Oh, now that was totally unexpected. How brilliant! 
Okay, for this, I'll be adding 10 wins. I think the anime absolutely deserves it for that amazing scene. Okay, now for this absolutely perfect scene, I'll be awarding a record number of wins for this anime so far. Because between the artwork, the voice artist's impeccable performance, and the great music, it makes for one hell of an action sequence. So for all of this, I think I'll award 20 wins. Oh yeah. なるほど。really reminiscent of the original Berserk series last episode, and that's brought back a good memory for me. This is a great moment for me, because Hawk really steps up to try and settle the argument between the two. But there's also a nice tension breaker with the captain falling asleep on his back right away. But for me, this is probably the greatest moment in the anime to build Hawk as a character and what drives his friendship with the captain. Adding 5 wins here. <laughs> For the start of this immensely powerful battle between these two great foes, including great voice acting and truly epic looking effects, I'll have to award a further 5 wins here. This is so f***ing brilliant, it's really giving me the vibes of the final episode of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood where everyone is working together. It's got a really good energy going for the final battle, and I'm just really looking forward to seeing what final pieces of greatness I can see and highlight towards the very end. For these most epic guys returning to the anime just at a stage where I was sure they'd never really fit back in with the way the storyline was going. Wow, I really haven't smiled ear to ear and thrown my fist in the air with so much joy for an anime since I watched the final episode of Boku no Hero Academia last year and All Might's epic battle against Nomu. Take another 5 wins, you magnificent bastard. For the end to an incredibly awesome episode, I'll again award a further 5 wins. This is also due to Ban's epicness at the very end and also what's likely to come from him having just discovered this demon. Oh my god, he's so epic! Not much to say here other than that this first half has contained one hell of an epic battle between pretty much everyone and this guy who's now basically a demon lord of sorts. The animation has been awesome and it's been getting me really pumped. However, now it just seems like there's no hope for them to win. However, it's of course been great throughout, so I'll award 5 wins for the first kind of epic boss battle. For the incredibly sad death of Hawk, one of my favourite characters for his amazing humour and personality, and how he went out being incredibly brave and to save his friends. I just have to award 10 wins here. Shishou ga shinda. Anna kino iyatsu. Yoku mo. Kasou 
motherfucker! I love seeing this side of Ban's character, because when he was about to kill the captain during the last episode and Hawk was trying to talk him down, Ban seemed really cold towards him and threatened to just kill him if he didn't shut up and said that they weren't friends. But seeing this, we now get to see how he actually felt about Hawk, and it's really powerful. Oh my fucking god, seriously, how amazing is this turn of events? And to actually see her sister alive as well is just blowing my mind right now. I genuinely never saw anything like this coming. I just always thought she was hot, but kind of useless really. But clearly I was very wrong. I'll award 10 wins here because it was a real shock, and I'm getting to see these people revived. It's brilliant. For what I can only describe as one of the greatest battles since Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood's final epic battle, I'll have to add 20 wins. This ending made me feel so many things. I was exhilarated, shocked and surprised, but also full of energy to see these good guys take it home and win. There was an amazing amount of greatness in just these four minutes, and I think it's well worthy of the win editions I just mentioned. Well now, that was incredible. This was exactly the kind of finish I was hoping for all along. One where everyone works together to put into action one final plan to bid the boss farewell once and for all. This has to be listed as one of the greatest moments of the past 24 episodes, and so another 10 wins is most definitely in order here. Hawk's return and everyone's reactions to it, especially Ban's only anime yet another 10 wins. I'm just glad that little guy's back. It's really great to see Hawk back to normal, just smaller of course, but also these guys all just hanging out once again at the boar's hat is super nice to see. Just wish that I could have gone straight onto season 2, but sadly I have to wait. Well guys, there you have it. Everything great about the 7 Deadly Sins season 1, all wrapped up neatly in 4 episodes. I want you guys to know that this took me roughly 60 to 65 hours to put this series together and that's not including the Everything Wrong With version which took even longer and that I did at the same time. This anime had a fantastic ending that pretty much wrapped up absolutely everything that I wanted to see. It truly feels as though I went on this long journey alongside them. I felt as though all of the characters were really nicely fleshed out, however, no pun intended, I'd have liked to have seen a lot more of Merlin. I hope you guys enjoyed the series and if you did, please feel free to slap the like button and share these videos all over social media. You guys can help support the channel and my ability to keep making videos by pledging from $1 a month over on Patreon at www.patreon.com forward slash the honest gamer you can also follow me over on twitter at the honest gamer thank you all so much for watching and of course i'll see you in the next series or on my other channels have fun Thank you to the following patrons. Nathan Burr, Gabby Z, Vupu, Leon Lutka, Joaquin Jimenez Villaluenga, and to all of the other patrons supporting me. Thank you.